Hey everyone, Ms. Clem here, the 11th and 12th grade academic advisor. And I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to look at the overdue tab um, and to find those overdue assignments. Um, you know, if you find yourself falling a little behind now that we're into the third and fourth week of school, um, you know, we're swinging into that full schedule and uh, the pace of the assignments are picking up. So I wanted to make sure that you understood how to uh, work with this overdue tab in the OMHS, how to look at the course schedule um, in each individual class, and just how to look at the grade book also to make sure that you're not missing any graded assignments. And we're also gonna take a look at how to work um, the daily plan to your advantage once you are caught up. Okay, so if you're uh, falling a little bit behind, this is the video for you to watch and um, just get some tips and tricks on how to get caught up. Okay, so this is your landing page for the OMHS, and you can see, um, you know, we're getting a pretty full schedule here with regular um, Connect classes every week. So um, once you click on the My Schedule tab, this is the box that's gonna pop up, and then I wanna draw your attention to this Overdue tab here, okay? So the number 14 stands for 14 overdue assignments. You can go to this page and you can, um, you know, work each assignment from this page if you like. Um, it can be a little confusing and not very organized just because, you know, it's listing them by due date over here, by due date and time. So it doesn't really group the classes together. You can have some chemistry down here. Um, you know, it's just, and it depends on what the assignment is. So you can work it from over here, but I also want to show you where you can go inside the classroom to actually find your overdue assignments. Um, let's take chemistry, for example. Go click on the classes button here, and you're going to actually go into the chemistry classroom. And my favorite place to go, as we all should know by now, is the content tab, okay? When you click on the content tab for a course, it's going to show you all of the material for that class, okay? We, we know the table of contents, you know, your menu is here on the left with all your learning modules. But this little button here is often overlooked. Um, right now it's kind of noticeable because it shows the five overdue assignments that are in this class. So I like this view, um, especially if you're really far behind. Um, you can go to class by class, go into each class and just get a singular view of what you're overdue for on that particular class. So it's a little more organized, um, I think with this view and not so overwhelming. So you can see here, you know, this looks like the student just needs to do the quizzes in order and then take the unit test. Um, so this gives you the overdue assignments. These are assignments that have went past the due date for the assignment. See this here, it says September 18th. Um, it has not went past the end date. Notice the end date here. So this student can still turn all of these in for extra credit, okay? or not extra credit, but full credit. <laughs> um, the one thing I do wanna show you while I'm here is that you have three options under this course schedule button. You can click overdue, which will show you just the overdue. You can click upcoming, which will show you today. And you can also minimize these, tomorrow and the next seven days. Okay, so sometimes that's a helpful view. Um, if you are all caught up and you just want to see what is on the schedule today for chemistry only, um, that's helpful or, you know, you want to plan for tomorrow. Um, but I want to click on this full schedule button and I want to show you how nice this is to be able to go back to the very beginning of the class and make sure that you haven't missed anything. So once you click on full schedule, it's going to have um, each day that started September 1st. So this started from the very beginning, and you can look through each module and see, okay, this progress bar is at 100%. Do I have any dots over here? That should be check marks, okay? Once you go into um, a unit or a learning module, 
when you come back out, it's gonna put a check mark that you at least went in there and looked at it. Um, if it's a graded assignment, like a quiz, a unit test, uh, discussion boards, even if you just go in and look at the quiz, it's gonna show a check mark here instead of a dot. So make sure that those are actually submitted. Um, and when we get to one of those, I'll show you. But right here, you can go, okay, I've checked this day, looks good. We minimize the first. Second, looks good. You can literally go through every day and just make sure that you're not missing anything, okay? That was supposed to be on the schedule for that day. So as you can see, you can get through here. Um, here's an actual quiz. Let's click on this quiz and see. Just, you wanna click in here and see if you have submitted it. Yes, this one was submitted on September 3rd. So if you don't remember, you know, a quiz or something, um, and it will also show you if it's overdue, that means it hasn't been submitted either. But notice on quizzes, you have a retake um, chance. Some teachers are gonna let you have retakes on certain assignments. So just be, you know, mindful of that and making sure you're looking. Before you retake it here, go click on review and look at the review, go to each question, review what you missed. Okay, if you missed any questions, the student didn't miss any questions, and then you can take it again. Okay, after you've done the review, which is very helpful. Okay, let's go back, we're back to the full schedule. Okay, so see how it popped us back to that unit two module. So we need to go back to the course schedule. And I'm just gonna go back to the full schedule one more time. Okay, and just work your way through from the beginning of the class until you find where you do not have, you know, check marks. Okay, so it starts right here. September 16th. So it looks like this student started getting behind in chemistry around this time. Um, these dots indicate they have looked at this material. So you can literally start where you left off, you know, where you got behind at and go day by day and cover this material until you get caught up. Okay, and here's one of the quizzes that they that's on the overdue tab. So as you come through this material, you will see the overdue assignments. But you can't necessarily go, you know, from the overdue tab on the main page and just go straight away and take this quiz, right? You need to go up here and look at the material that is related to this quiz before you take the quiz. So that's why I like this course schedule button with the full schedule view so that you can go right to the information you need go through these learning modules and then take the quiz, okay? And then once you finish that day, you can move right on to the next day, okay? And get caught up. So that's how to use the course schedule button that is inside the classroom and the full schedule option here um, to get yourself caught up in a class. Okay, that's very important as you, uh, the pace of our assignments are gonna start moving very quickly. Um, you know, you have your daily plan that is on the, um, you know, my schedule tab if you look at the week. So today is Monday the 28th. So you know the Class Connects are here and then you have these assignments. Um, well, these are calendar events. You also have assignments down here that need to be done. So you know, as you're working to catch up, also be mindful that, you know, you have things on your daily, your current daily plan that need to be done as well. But let's go back um, and look at, for instance, math analysis um, and see what classes, excuse me, what um, assignments are overdue here. So this, these are not actually showing overdue at the moment. But if this student needs to go back and review any of the material, they can go to full schedule, just click on that course schedule, go to full schedule, and then this class started September 21st. So they can go through and make sure 
that they have looked at all of these um, learning modules that the teacher has put in there for them, okay? These are very important. Because when you go to take your quizzes and things of that nature, this is you know, where, you're, where you learn the information before you take your quizzes. So let's go, I wanna show you how to look into the grade book too, um, just to check your progress, to make sure that you're not missing any graded assignments. If you're falling behind, um, if you are passing due dates, teachers are gonna start putting in zeros, okay? Um, this is what's happened to this student. They haven't done the quizzes in their math class, so they're falling behind. Um, this is your grade book, and this is the, um, all the graded assignments listed in order that your teacher is gonna grade you for, you know, for this entire um, term or sometimes semester. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping an eye on your grade book and your graded assignments, okay? So one trick that I wanna show you, if you go into your grade book and you're checking, and you should check your grade book at least every other day on your classes, just to make sure you're not missing anything. You can highlight this, the name of the assignment, copy it, okay, and you just right click and hit copy. Go back to our favorite tab, the content tab, right click again, and click paste, and you can use this search bar to find that quiz right away. Instead of having to look through all this material, you can go right to the quiz, click on the quiz, and then you can take the quiz, okay? So in a nutshell, that is how you can use the uh, full schedule, course schedule, and then the full schedule option inside a classroom to help you manage the overdues that are um, in there for each class. Okay, again, you can also use the overall, um, overall overdue tab. That will help you as well. But if you need to see just one class at a time, um, it's advantageous to go over to that full course button or course schedule and full schedule. And if you have any questions about this or need some more help, you can always um, email your advisor and um, you know, they can help walk you through this as well. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.